I'm Roger. I'm Brian. I'm Buggy. I'm Rosemary. I'm Matthew. I'm Judy. I'm Jeff. I'm Patty. And we are here today. Ladies and gentlemen, you've met all my punchline pals. Time now to meet our two contestants. And tonight, they're Maureen Hall and Richard Fox. <laughs> Fine, OK. Maureen, also looking very pretty tonight, my darling. Maureen is from Yorkshire, originally, and you're now living in... Basingstoke. In Basingstoke. Yes. Do you find a difference? Oh, yes. <laughs> what, 300 miles, I yes. suppose, really? Yes, of course. <laughs> right, right. What do you do for a living, Maureen? I'm a student. A student. What are you studying? Beauty. Beauty. Therapy. But he's obviously working. Good luck. Fine. Richard, where are you from, young sir? Shepton Mallet. Shepton Mallet. Somerset. That's the stuff. Fine. <laughs> Cricketer? I do a bit, yeah. For good lad. For good lad. What do you do for a living? I'm a distribution manager for Baby Sham. You know that little drink? Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> OK, that's one to Richard immediately. Uh, is there any other products you'd like to mention while we're on? <laughs> OK, Richard and Maureen, let's meet now your two punchline partners. Ladies and gentlemen, Linda Bellingham and David Hamilton. <laughs> Linda, welcome to the game. Lovely to have you with us. I'd love to say, Terry, I'm so honoured to be on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Linda gets first blow in with Wogan Jump. <laughs> right. And lovely to have you with us. This is Richard who you're going to play with tonight. Yes. yes. Oh, I guess. That's what <laughs> <laughs> a game is. You didn't explain that to us. No, hopefully so. <laughs> and David left. Diddy David. Lovely to have okay. you with us. Yes. yes. Uh, looking forward to it. Very much indeed. I'm actually not worried about uh, losing. I am used to losing. I'm a Fulham supporter. <laughs> <laughs> we have plenty of practice. Hey, this is the way we'd like the show to run. Go a on. nice insult from Linda and a rotten old joke from David. <laughs> <laughs> Let's explain the rules of the game. Punchlines, very easy game. Our eight punchliners will all give us their punchlines as usual. And then those are the answers to questions I will then put to our two contestants. OK? Well, what we want them to do is to match up the correct punchline to each individual question. Ten points for each correct matching up, and the first team to 150 will go on to play as our punchline champion. Let's start our first game. Punchliners, your punchlines, please. Stop it, I'm ticklish. It's time for your three o'clock feed. You can look, but you better not touch. I've got a hole in one. <laughs> you can warm your feet on my chest. You hold on tight and I'll jump up and down. <laughs> I refuse to appear in the nude. <laughs> I'll throw a bucket of water over you. OK, there are the punchlines. Fill me in your minds, folks. Uh, yeah. Yes, fair enough. Now, Richard, you're going to go first. But are you won the toss, didn't you, Maureen? Yes. But you want Richard to go first? Oh, yes. <laughs> so it shall be. Fair enough. First question. When the stripper took off her clothes, she said to King Midas... Number eight. Number eight. You sound confident, Patty. I'll throw a bucket of water over you. <laughs> Old Somerset hobby. Right. Uh, <laughs> Maureen, the Eskimo lady, said to her husband... Eskimo ladies, what do they do? <laughs> Number eight. Number eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, Patty, you can say it again. Go ahead. I'll throw a bucket of water over you. No. Was it an ice bucket? Oh, never mind. Fair enough. Yeah, that's, uh, look at that. Two rotten jokes on the same show. That's excellent. <laughs> Linda, first time in the game for you. Raquel Welsh turned to the magazine owner and she said... One. One is Roger. I refuse to appear in the news. Oh, well done. Very <laughs> good. We stay with your side as long as you answer them correctly. Richard, oh. over to you. The nursing mother turned to her hungry baby. Now, what do you think she said? Five. Five, a nursing mother to a hungry baby, Matthew? You can look, but you better not talk. <laughs> uh, David. Yes. David, yes. the excited golfer looked to his caddy, and what did he say? Is it possible at this stage to have a brain transplant? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Find a donor. Yeah. Yes. Uh, three. You say three, and that's Foggy Flax, an excited golfer to his caddy. <laughs> Stop it, I'm ticklish. <laughs> now we'll 
could take a stroke off David Hamilton for that. Right. Uh, we go now to Linda. Linda, what did the cow say to the ex inexperienced milkmaid? Oh, three. Three? <laughs> Boggy? Cows don't talk. <laughs> Stop it, I'm tickled. Yes. <laughs> what did the cow say to the inexperienced milkmaid? Yes, you see. Uh, uh, Linda, Linda brought a bit of logic into the game and said, <laughs> and said cows don't talk. <laughs> Maureen, the circus clown chased his stooge around the ring. What did he say? Number three. Number three, Foggy. <laughs> Stop it, I'm tickling. <laughs> Isn't this getting stupid? <laughs> right. We've now gone through all the questions, all oh, seven wonderful. required to answer, and of course a very resounding lead of ten points to nil. <laughs> wonderful. Richard, where were you? And this stripper took off her clothes, and what did she say to King Midas? Now, think about it, King Midas. We'll try four, I think. You'll try four, and <laughs> that's Rosemary. I've got a hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> no, and yet another losing reply. Fine. Uh, David, the Eskimo lady said to her husband... Has he been out? I suppose she could have said that, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, no, she didn't say. No, no, no. She didn't I'm say that. No, no. I'm just no. wondering whether or not the viewers no. will understand. Uh, right. um, Eskimo uh, lady to her husband. Hurry up, David. Come on. Um, this was. Uh, what did you say? I said we haven't got all night, like. <laughs> Is that what she said? We haven't got all that's night. What, what, uh, that's, that's what she usually says. Get, then get off me. Then. Number two. You say number two, and that's Brian. Eskimo lady to her husband. You hold on tight, and I'll jump up and down. <laughs> Mother. I mean, sometimes you just don't say anything, right? <laughs> the nursing mother turned to her hungry baby, and what did she say? Linda. Is it me? Of oh, course it's you. Seven. You say seven, and that's young Jeff. You can warm your feet on my chest. <laughs> You're pretty good, good at this, aren't you? Yes, this is... You're really good at this. <laughs> I think I'm beginning to crack. <laughs> Maureen, the excited golfer, looked Maureen. at his caddy. What did he say? Oh, no. Golfer to his caddy. Number five. You say number five. Matthew, the excited golfer to his caddy. You can look, but you better not touch. <laughs> Richard, the cow to the inexperienced milkmaid. Oh, dear, I keep getting this one. Yes, I know. <laughs> I've been told to try number six. You've been told to try number six. Number six you shall have. And it's lovely Judy. It's time for your three o'clock feed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you've discovered something. <laughs> oh, Linda can't wait to play again. Just okay. Tell me what it's all about. Here we go. The circus clown chasing his stooge around the ring. And what did he say, David? Ah, uh, yes, it would be, wouldn't it? Yes. Uh, just have a quick word with my. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think we've lost track of the plot <laughs> completely. If this ever happened, I'm beginning to lose track of reality. Totally, right. totally gone. Huh? Eight, eight. Patty, oh, throw a bucket of water over you. Whoa. hoping that would be the case and already you see Does it has crept up to a thrilling 10-10 <laughs> here's the stripper still oh. taking off her clothes and she's still saying to king midas maureen you're the stripper oh, no, I'm doing yeah, the best. Yeah. um um <laughs> i'm thinking of course you are hard i'm thinking of retiring <laughs> the stripper taking off her clothes to king midas what would she say um what what roger <laughs> I refuse to appear in the news. <laughs> Some kind of stripper she must have been, right? <laughs> Linda, the Eskimo lady to her husband. Oh, number seven. Oh, number seven, sure of that. Geoffrey. You can warm your feet on my chest. Yes, well. Hey. You see, suddenly it's all becoming clear. The nursing mother, Richard, turned to her hungry baby. Now, what did she say? Oh, I think Linda's going to tell him. Six. Number six, Judy, nursing mother. It's time for your three o'clock Yes, thing. indeed. <laughs> yes, we're still with you. Why are you winning? You still keep playing. Linda, the excited golfer, looked at his caddy. What did he oh. say? Oh, I can't even get oh. it out. Oh. Oh. Rosemary. I've got a hole in one. She said oh. Oh. 40 10. <laughs> Richard, this poor cow. To... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this charming cow to the inexperienced milkmaid. I'm being told all the time. It's tremendous, isn't it's it? It's great fun, isn't it? To be with talent, it's yes, unbelievable. Yes, I know. I know the feeling. Two. You say number two, Brian. Ooh. Cow to an inexperienced milkmaid. <laughs> you hold on tight and I'll jump up and down. Of course, that's what she's doing. <laughs> and 
would you believe this? This is the final question in this round. It's exciting. Isn't it? it is exciting, <laughs> yes. Here we go. And it's Linda, Linda the stripper. She took off her clothes and she said to King Midas. It must be th three. It must be three. Is it you, Foggy? Oh, no, five, I meant, sorry. Oh, you meant I five. Was looking, I was looking at Matthew. Yeah, they, um, they do look alike, don't they? Yes. Oh, well, <laughs> Matthew, five. do you want to go for five, my darling? Five. Linda says five. King Midas, stripper said to King Midas. Matthew? You can look, but you better not touch. Of course. Oh, very good. Did you understand that, David? You, you see the point of the question? A stripper to King Midas. It's wonderful. Well, the whole yes, point yes. is that whatever King Midas touched turned yes. to gold, exactly. which is why he always wore gloves to the bathroom. OK. <laughs> uh, <laughs> who, had, who had the red herring that time? Do I have to tell you? <laughs> Stop yeah, I'm tickling. Well, moving on swiftly now to round two. Huh? There we go. Uh, this is a good game. Is it? Oh, it's because we oh. changed the rules a little this time. Yeah. Is yes. it easier now? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a lot easier. easier. How, how it works, right. David, right. is the punchliners all give their punchlines, and then to really help you, yes. they all change places. Oh, great. <laughs> but the punchline remains in the same place. Oh, so all, right. that's all you have to remember, yeah. and if you're playing at home, they will give their punchlines, they'll move, but remember the numbers on the box, because that's where the punchline is. Okay? Punchliners? Your punchlines, please. In the boxing ring. In the Wendy house. In the fridge. In the house of commons. In the bridal suite. In the bath. In the massage parlour. On the potty. <laughs> All sorts of exciting places in round two. Okay, punchline has all changed places. What a, what a wonderful, wonderful piece of movement. I haven't seen movement like that since Dolly Parton got hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> there they are, all the different places, but the punchlines remain where they were originally spoken. Wonderful. And this time, once again, we have a red herring up there. And this time, David, you to go. Oh, Ooh. wonderful. Right. Where do people sometimes sing in the nude? Uh, number four. Number four, Matthew. In the bar. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so a where, do, where do our MPs do most of their work? Oh, number two. Oh, look at that, number two. Foggy? Mm -hmm. In the House of Commons. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You knew you could do it. David, David, where do the honeymoon couple spend their wedding night? Honeymoon couple. Number eight. Number eight, and it's Roger. In the Wendy House. <laughs> and you were so sure you were right, weren't you, David? OK, Richard, over to you. 60-30 you lead. Where would you find people punching each other? <laughs> five. You say five, and that's Brian. In the boxing ring. In the boxing ring, is correct. <laughs> Linda, where did the child get its toilet training? Oh, number six. Number six, and Jeff? On the potty. On the potty, there we go. Isn't it easy now? Richard, where do you get rid of your muscular tensions? <laughs> Again, I'm being told it's awful and I shouldn't read. Oh, it's not allowed now, am I? Were you told? No. Oh, I... Seven. Where do you get rid of your muscular tensions? In the massage parlor. Oh. <laughs> Linda, little skullduggery, where might you find children at play? Oh, eight. Eight? Roger? In the Wendy house. Well, look at this. 100 points to 30. Yeah. Final question this round, Richard. Where did the honeymoon couple spend their wedding night? Two. Two. And it's foggy. <laughs> in the House of Commons. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you can salvage another ten points. Final question this round. Maureen, where did the honeymoon couple spend their wedding night? Um. <laughs> Five. Yeah. Honeymoon couple, wedding night. Brian. In the boxing ring. <laughs> <laughs> well, even further behind. Same question for you, Linda. Where did the honeymoon couple spend their wedding night? Three. Three. Patty. In the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> David, well. David, come on, let's get this last well, one out. Uh, I'm just Honey trying to think what's one. left. It's got to be number one. You say number one, oh, and it's Judy. In the bridal suite. Oh! Bridal suite. <laughs> A 
140, end of the second round. Who had the red herring, folks? I did, in the it, fridge. Patrick? In the fridge. Oh, never mind. End of the first round. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a break now while David Hamilton stretches his legs. <laughs> I don't think any further comment is necessary. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back soon with some more punchline. Cheeky boy. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to Punchlines, or as it's becoming known, the umpire strikes back. <laughs> <laughs> Smashing game now, smashing Terrific. game, because we change the rules all over again, oh, and this time it's intuition time. This is where we ask our two teams to use their intuition to find out exactly where the punchlines are, because our punchliners aren't going to read them out. I mean, that's easy enough, isn't oh, it? It gets easier all the time. Of then. course it does. <laughs> like to make it easy, even easier, there are no red herrings this time, okay? Right. Now, because it's a little more difficult, this time we double the points up to 20, and remember, first team to 150 is our punchline champion. Here we go. Maureen, you to go first. The wicketkeeper surprised Jeff Boycott when he... Ooh, number pick a seven. Line. You pick number seven, and it's Rosemary. Entered him for Crufts. <laughs> <laughs> Not out. Uh, Richard, the Australian model, ran up to Prince Charles, and she... Two. Two? Foggy? She put a woodpecker in his sparring. <laughs> <laughs> the militant feminist went up to the Italian man and she... Eight. Was the Roger Kitter number eight? Gave him a big kiss. <laughs> Here we go, Linda. The policeman chased the thief into the swimming baths and he... Six. Six, you say? And that's Jeff. Whipped off his bails. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. This is a very serious game. <laughs> All those punchlines are the correct answers. Here we go, Maureen. The dog breeder was so proud of his poodle that he... Number seven. Number seven, you say, and that's Rosemary. Enter him for Crufts. Enter him for Crufts, indeed. <laughs> and 20 points you get. <laughs> David, the father took his teenage son to one side. What did he do? It's been out, isn't it? Pardon? It's been out. I've just gone suddenly deaf. I don't uh, know. You've gone a bit, you've gone <laughs> a bit mutton, haven't you? Yes, I know. All right, number one. You say number one, and that's Judy. Pinched his bottom. <laughs> no. Richard, Richard, the practical joker, crept up behind the Scotsman, and he... Toed it. You say two, and it's foggy. Yes. He put a weed picker in his spoon. Yes, he did indeed. <laughs> one twenty. <laughs> Linda, the female budgie, turned to the male budgie, and she... What does a female budgie do to a male budgie? Pick a punchline. Three. Three, three, three is Patty. She caught him by the cubicles. Caught him by the cubicles. <laughs> now, that wasn't right, Linda. Right. How's the scores? 120 to 60, but at 20 points, you can soon catch up. And here we go with Maureen. All the questions have been out. The wicketkeeper surprised Jeff Boycott when he... Six. You say six, and that's Jeff. Whipped off his bales. Whipped off his bales, he did. <laughs> David. Come on, you're on the comeback trail. David, the Australian model, ran up to Prince Charles. What did she do? The Australian model. It was in all the papers. Yeah, that's right. And it was number eight. It was number eight, Roger. She gave him a big kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Maureen, the militant feminist, went up to the Italian man. And she... What do women's livers do? Hmm? You give in. Um... You give in? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you've heard this week. Right. Uh... <laughs> Militant feminist, what did she do? Four? She picks number four, and that's Matthew. Told him the facts of life? <laughs> <laughs> A kind gesture, but completely wrong. Right, Richard. Richard, the policeman chased the thief into the swimming baths. <laughs> you say three, and that's Patty. Caught him by the cubicle. That's exactly what she did. Okay, it's Linda. One more correct answer to be our punchline champion for your side. The father took his teenage son to one side, and he... Four. You say four, and that's Matthew. He told him the facts of life. Well, of course he did. We passed the 1650 mark, so I declare you this week's punchline champion, Richard. Oh, Maureen, oh, hard luck. Did well? Yes. You enjoy it? Yes. Of course you did. Well, you won't go away empty-headed. You will take with you a super Polaroid camera and two packets of film. Hope you have lots of fun with it. I'll contest. Richard, you are our punchline champion.
punchline <laughs> champion. Come and play with me. <laughs> You got a shake on now. All right. You're not yeah. nervous. As he says I've got button, his shake you. on. You're yeah. not nervous yeah. at all. Yeah. Big fine, I'd like you. Stand next to yeah. me. Yeah. Stand there. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Simple game. Yes. Eight punchlines, eight questions. We want you to get as many right as you can. I haven't got one right all night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the more you get right, the better your prize. And if you manage to get seven out of eight correct, yeah. you take away a punchline <laughs> champion prize. Punchliners, your punchlines, please. St. Paul's Cathedral. Woburn Abbey. Holyrood House. The Tower of London. Runnymede. Westminster Abbey. Chatsworth House. Windsor Castle. There we are. All famous places. Do you want to hear them again? I never heard a thing. You <laughs> did? <laughs> Let's do it one more time. St. Paul's Cathedral. Woburn Abbey. Holyrood House. The Tower of London. Runnymede. Westminster Abbey. Chatsworth House. Windsor Castle. Okay. Not easy, is it? Right. Okay. I'm ready. Stand close to Prepare. me, my boy. Here we go. Now, where, Richard, was Sir Walter Raleigh imprisoned? <laughs> five. You say five? Walter Raleigh imprisoned? Runnymede? <laughs> my history's terrible. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Now, just one wrong. Don't worry about it. Okay, second question. Which royal palace is in Edinburgh? Two. Two and Fogwell. Westminster Abbey. Oh, <laughs> mine's like, Don't terrible. worry about it. I'm not worried. Fine, I'm not you've, worried got six, you've got six more yet. Just That's think. Right. I'm going to get one. Yes, good. One. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where did King John sign the Magna Carta? Eight. You say eight, Roger. No. Windsor Castle. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Charles Dickens buried? One. One, and that's Judy. Hollywood House. <laughs> well, you don't care, do you? Really no, he's no. having a good laugh. He doesn't care. <laughs> 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 okay, we'll, we'll get one, don't worry. Now, which building was designed by Sir Christopher Wren? <laughs> Two. Two. Fogwell. Westminster Abbey. <laughs> Sixth question. So, so far, uh, not yes. all that good. No, no, no. It's <laughs> going to get better. Right. <laughs> Which stately home, Richard, is in Derbyshire? I've got it. I was born there. It's Chatsworth. It's number seven. Well, it's there we go. He said, I will definitely get one right. Is that the one you were going to get right? Yes, that's right. It's a shame it wasn't a question about your that's house, right. isn't it? Yes, here we go. Seventh question. One right so far. Here we go, Richard. Which is the home, or where is the home, of the Duke of Bedford? Five. Five is Brian. <laughs> Runny mean. <laughs> and as we enter the final furlong... <laughs> no, you've done awfully well. It's very yeah. difficult when you're standing here, isn't it? It is. I mean, it is of course it is. Yes. Well, you, you don't mind, do you? No, 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 of course, you've had a good laugh. Which royal residence, Richard, was founded by William the Conqueror? <laughs> Roger, all your life you've had, you've had a heart of gold. Because <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have gone no, away no. empty-handed. You take with you, you've got two correct, and you take with you a portable colour TV set. Oh, thank you very much. Fine, you enjoy Lovely, that. Yes. With a fun, fine. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, say goodnight to a gentleman who came along to play the game in the spirit in which he was intended. You came for a laugh, didn't you, That's Richard? Right. That's right. And it. he had one. Say goodnight to Richard. He was lovely. To our losing contestants, to Maureen, to lovely Linda Bellingham, and to Diddy Davis. <laughs> and a special good night to my punchline pals, who this week are Judy Gridley. Bye now. Bob Well Flat. Patty Gold. See ya. Matthew Kelly. <laughs> Brian Joan Elliott. Bye. Jeff Stevenson. Good night, folks. Rosemary, bye, and Roger, heart of gold, Peter. <laughs> Thanks for being with us, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for laughing along with punchlines. We'll see you soon.